Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today with a really small detail of the overhead panel, I will show you how we can make these black and white stickers. In most cases, and especially if you are on a low budget, then it should be enough when you just take a white sheet of printable sticker and print all the parts that should be black on it and then place them onto your overhead. But I think from some pictures I have seen the stickers on the real Boeing overhead aren't really stickers, they are more some really thin plates. And to build these I have bought these um, plastic sheets here. This is a 0.5 and 1 millimeter thick sheet of plastic and I will spray this black here after I have given it a light sanding by hand and then try to engrave here with my laser and so that all the white parts come out again. And I hope I can fine tune the laser especially here with this 0.5 millimeter sheet um, before I burn just through it. Directly after the paint has dried, it comes out with the first and very surprising results I treated the both surfaces with the same method. I sanded them, maybe I used a little bit too rough sandpaper, but nevertheless it came out completely different. On the thin sheet I see all the scratches. It is completely covered with scratches and I think it isn't useful uh, anymore. And on the thicker material there are no scratches visible. The lacquer has covered it and left it with a flat surface. And the other advantage of the thin material against this thicker material, you can see here, it has bended. And I think when the lacquer dried, it is the same thing when you um, use some filler, um, then it shrinks a little bit and this tends the material to come uh, and bend up to the middle. Yes, I have tried to um, work against it uh, and I have um, taped it down with some double-sided tape on the surface but uh, this couldn't provide it from doing this. After this the winner of the first contest is clear. But after the little disappointing lacquering result, the test engravings came out even better. Whenever you are working with a new material, you should reserve some extra material to make some tests to uh, find out the correct values for your machine. Here you can see my first tryout with my laser. All these engravings are made with a speed of 250 mm per second and this is done with a power of 15%. It isn't bad, but I think the power was a little bit too much so um, that much of the material melted and the letters are looking like the um, outlines are melted. So I reduced the power to a 13% and here you can see the letter seems darker and this is because some particles of the lacquer are still there and not burned fully away. So I increased the power again to 14% and increased the airflow, which I have forgotten at the first engravings here. The letters are looking good, but the airflow has pushed much of the dust back again into the melted plastic and so it isn't looking really better than these here. And here on my final test, I have reduced the airflow to a really little, little airflow here and kept the 14% of power. And so I come out with good looking and white letters. On the left here, you can see two cutting tests. 
the first one was uh, with a power of 12% because I'm not moving so fast, I'm only moving with 50 millimeters a second, but it uh, didn't go through the material. Then I increased the power to 16% and you can see it has cut through. So let's move on to the final production. To get rid of the white edges of the plates, I painted them black with a water-resistant pen. So a really small project for today, but I hope you had the chance to learn how I'm setting up my machine when I'm working with new materials. As always, you will find the needed file to make your own stickers at home as a download in the member section of my website. So I have to go back to make a new panel for the next section of the overhead panel. And if you don't want to miss this episode, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.